Adding a custom logo is very easy on the foodie theme thanks to some built-in integration. I did want to touch on very quickly what type of image we're looking to upload. I have a couple examples here that I'll be able to use, but this will be the logo that I use, and I primarily pull it up to point out that I'm uploading an image that's 800 pixels by 340 pixels. This is the size of an image you would need to upload so that WordPress doesn't crop your image. It's not a problem if you have to upload something else, but this would be the preferable size to upload. Although this looks like a large image, when we upload it to the site, it will do some pretty cool stuff, which I'll point out here in a minute. But ideally using the 800 by 340 pixel image size would be best. So let's upload our image. I'm on our WordPress site and I'm gonna go into the dashboard. I'm already logged in under appearance and then header you're going to have the ability to upload a custom logo. We'll click choose file here. I'm gonna to go to my logo and then click upload. So it got my logo on there. However, there's this text and to simply remove that, scroll down to the bottom and then uncheck this box next to header text. If I click save and then I go check out my site, we now have uh, my logo uploaded and ready to go. Now, what I was making such a big deal about earlier when uh, uploading an 800 by 340 pixel image, what's displaying is actually 400 pixels long by 170 pixels high. And what's automatically been built in here is a high resolution image for retina displays. The reason this functionality was added was so that your image or your logo specifically would look good no matter what device somebody's looking at. If they're using a high definition display or an iPhone or something like that, it will still look great. Just for reference, if you didn't upload an 800 by 340 pixel image, I have a small logo here that I'm gonna upload. If you click upload, it will take you to this crop screen and usually you won't have the full area available. It'll look something like this and you have to decide where to cut. It's not a huge issue, but WordPress is going to then crop and resize your image and that can sometimes give you that blurriness or less than perfect image, at least the way that you'd exported it or got it from a designer or whatever else before. So ideally this is the screen you avoid by uploading a image that's the exact width and height uh, that the theme requests. And like that, we've got our logo up and ready to go.